Hi, Melanie here, and I uh, was just going to do a, a video about kind of like my health background and how I got to where I'm at now. Um, my BMI is 57, I'm 5'3", and my weight is, um, highest is 335, and about, right about now, I'm um, around 327. Um, really always been overweight I mean well ever since I was around age 11 right about puberty it started um, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome so I'm irregular um, I went from being in you know little girl sizes straight to a size 16 I don't remember being anything else all through middle school junior high high school college and then on um, I was wearing like a 16. Um, after college, I actually went in the Navy. Uh, I wanted to get the heck out of Tennessee, but that's a different story for another time. Um, and I was right at the top of the scales, right at the top of the charts that they would allow in. I actually couldn't get in based on my weight on the scale, but, um, I got in with body measurements. They measured my neck and my chest and waist and hips, and I was able to suck in and, and got in. I wasn't in shape, couldn't run very well. I finally was able to run by the end of boot camp. Um, but I, while I was in the Navy, I was diagnosed with thyroid problems, low thyroid levels. Um, I. The, the big turning point that got my weight going well over size 16 was um, in the Navy. I had a knee injury. Um, I fell. Uh, the, the ship that I was on, we were under heavy conditions, and I, I fell down a ladder and hit my knee on the deck plate and really blew it out. And um, it started dislocating any time that I could like, twist it or torque it and uh, I used to love to dance but um, ever since then any time that I've tried to twist it or dance even it it goes out and so I don't dance anymore because I'm always afraid that I'm gonna re-injure it and it really 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 hurts if, if I do twist it if I do blow it blow it out again i mean i'm crawling i can't walk on it um and even now there's times when i will turn over in the bed if i don't watch what i'm doing um I'll, it will go out or if i don't watch my step if i'm walking downstairs and i'm not watching what i'm doing it'll go out so with the knee injury that was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back and my weight really ballooned um after I got out of the Navy where I was living at, um, I uh, fell in love and got married. And um, I didn't know it at the time during the honeymoon period, but once we got home, the abuse started. And uh, I thought that I got what I deserved. When you're in that, you don't know any better and it's really hard to see a way out. So between that and I had two babies back to back, they're 10 months apart. So an abusive relationship, being isolated from people, along with two babies having they had them back to back, depression, and uh, it added even more weight. And um, with the bad knee, Soon came the bad back, joint degeneration, spinal stenosis, had um, synovial cysts on either side of my spine, and I had to have surgery last year, a lumbar fusion, to remove the cysts, and uh, I had a metal clip put in my back to fuse the, the bottom two. My blood pressure shot up and I've been on blood pressure meds and if I'm not on the meds, it, my blood pressure is out of control. It's been way up in the 200s. I mean, stroke level. 
and I had a stroke. That was scary. I thought I was going to die. I was sitting at home one evening in the recliner, and I was crocheting or watching TV or something, and all of a sudden my vision changed. And I, I have one eye that's worse than the other anyway, and it was in my good eye that the vision changed, and I was essentially blind. I, I couldn't see. And that entire side of my body just went numb. And uh, I sat there and and it just, it felt like the world was ending. And I was stupid and I thought that I'll just wait it out. And uh, that was not the right thing to do. If you have the signs of a stroke, please don't wait. Know the signs of a stroke, F-A-S-T, face, arms, speech, time to go. That's my public service announcement. And I also had a heart attack. Uh, it was um, an aortic sh stress or something, not a blockage. They did a heart cath and I didn't have any blockage, but it was an aortic stress from stress, aortic shock or something, I can't even know, but I had a myocardial infarction and um, that shows up on any EKG that I have now. It shows, so uh, part of my heart died. That's how heart attack works. So watch your stress, watch your blood pressure. So with all these things in my, well, I won't say in my favor, against me, all these strikes against me, blood pressure, stroke, high, uh, heart attack, my cholesterol's high, depression, weight, deteriorating joints, so that means no movement, no exercise, I'm always afraid of re-injury, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, I have that, I'm now diagnosed with sleep apnea, so with all those things against me, I'm basically like a ticking time bomb, so uh, because of the injuries, it's very hard to exercise. I had had joined a gym uh, last year. I was working with a personal trainer and making some progress. But there was lots of things that she wanted me to do that I couldn't. She wanted me to do these step exercises. And my knee just wouldn't let me. I couldn't climb the stairs. I couldn't do the crunches, even on the stability ball, because of my back. And, I was swimming and doing quite well with swimming and, and aqua uh, aerobics and aqua zumba, things like that. But then my back went way south and I couldn't even do that. So I got the back surgery done and um, then by the grace of God, my husband got this job with the new wonderful insurance. and. Uh, I knew that at this time it was it was the surgery or it was the funeral home, really. Uh, but that's the way it felt and that's the way it was kind of coming from my primary care doctor. And I'm, um, I've been given a second chance with this. I know I have. I'm beyond grateful for the chance. And believe you me, I'm going to do everything with it that I possibly can.